Alright, welcome everybody back to Stream 2 of Shovel Knight, Shovel of Hope. So at this point, we got a bunch of money, and we're ready to go off to the next level. So there are two different levels we could go to. We can go to the Iron Whale, the Lair of Treasure Knight, or we could go to the Lost City, the Lair of Mole Knight. I'm down to do either of them. If people have a preference which one I go to first, I am happy to go to either one of them. Otherwise, I get to decide. But hey, I like it when the audience gets some input that doesn't have too drastic of an effect. Oh, one other thing we're going to do while we wait for people to decide. Uh, we are going to drink our chalices. And I want two different tropal chalices. Oh, a tropal chalice. Choose your I-Core. Okay, we definitely want the I-Core Renewal. That one's really good. What is your second choice? I'll go I-Core Fortune. I like money. Hey, Nintendo Addict, welcome. So, we got two votes for Mole Knight and one vote for Treasure Knight. Alright, I guess we'll head off to Mole Knight. I mean, we'll be playing Treasure Knight pretty much right afterwards, so we'll get both done this stream, but let's head to Mole Knight first. It's a shoveling time! Yeah, Mole Knight's definitely got one of the songs in the game. Exactly! I'm glad you get it. <laughs> we get more of those blocks that can just knock us right through. Hey! Come on! The treasure just fell off a cliff all on its own. How dare it. You just went to the Trapple King. We can't give you anything else. Great. I'm so glad that this was a waste of time for everybody. <laughs> Oh, that's right, the fiery guys you can't pogo on, for some reason. Alright, I don't want to dig myself off a cliff. Not until it's Saturday. Woohoo! Mole Knight's theme slaps a bit more than I remember. I remember this being one of the weaker songs of the game, but it's actually still pretty good. Woo! -woo! And we got the dynamo armor now, so we put up a bit more of a fight. But of course, instant death is still all around. Oh boy, an apple. Yapple dapple! No, my- my- no, my sapphire! How could you? Oh, and we can shovel the dirt all at once now. Best day ever. Yes. <laughs> ah, yes. The giant stag beetle that we got to use as a platform. This is the kind of auto score that's okay, because you can go farther ahead if you want to. I mean, I still would rather that I get to do things my way, but... Yeah, get out of my way. Yes, treasure! We gotta get more- gotta get more money! I know I have a lot of it, but it's not enough. I always need more. Always! Oh boy, Thanksgiving dinner. Look, man, don't don't mess with me, all right? Don't mess with me. Ah, we'll keep that checkpoint. This level can be tough. They got those Mega Man enemies that jump out of the water to hit you for no reason. I don't like it. Oh, these guys are a bit easier now that we have the charge uh, swing. Because the charge swing can pierce through their shields. They're still obnoxious, though. 
Ah, I love I love getting to shovel all of the stuff out of the way in one swoop, though. No, all the money's falling off a cliff. Doggone it. This room is annoying. Hope you're good at pogoing off of these guys that pop out of nowhere. Otherwise, you're not getting through the room. <laughs> Yay! Music sheet. Wahoo! It always feels like I'm just not going to make it across. Get out of here. Hey, Mobius! Welcome to the stream. Ah, yes. Make sure you cancel your pogo in this room, or you are going to be meeting a swift end. Be very careful you don't pogo here as well, because if you do, you die. Mole Knight's making you think about the consequences of your actions. Blue chest can only mean one thing. It's Chester. In the village or out in the field, I have all the deals. You're not going to believe what I just found in this chest. Want to see? It's the dust knuckles dash through dirt and foes alike. Situational, but it's fun. Aha! This doesn't really feel like a Metroid level to me. Just a tough platformer. Oh-ho! I do like how you get new items as the uh, levels go on. Ooh! I will break that checkpoint. Probably will regret it. Oh yeah, the alchemy coin! I should be killing more enemies with that. We have the green goop bombs here. Which you can push around and use to, as platforms. Or, or flubber. It can even turn lava into flubber for a brief moment. Gotta leave the jewel behind. Sorry. <laughs> the things I do to get a little bit of extra money. Woo! The real repel gel. Going up. Now we get to play a little sports ball. I love sports ball. I always root for the team. And again, just make sure that you... time your pogo bounces properly. Yeah! This game has really cool puzzles. Uh, uh, no! I just realized that there was stuff over there. Oh, of course, there wasn't a checkpoint. Well, or, no, there was. I just blew it up. Guys, I had to get the money and the turkey dinner. That's worth sacrificing your life for, right? <laughs> Fire is indeed hot. Out of the way, Shovel Knight coming through. 
At least the game is pretty generous about giving you lots of checkpoints. So it's not... Particularly if you've already gotten the treasure along the way. Guys, and this also means... I can grab that. That's the real reason I died. I just couldn't live with myself without that one sapphire. Doing this stage without taking a hit would be difficult. All right, fine. I don't get him. I don't get to beat him up this time. Let's hit the checkpoint before we go this way. Aha! Dust knuckles time. Beautiful. I'm gonna regret doing that, but there's too—it's too much money to pass up. Let's hope I don't die. That'll set me back a good ways. I mean, and life is precious, and we must take care of the one life we get. <sighs> Have you tried not dying, bro? There we go. Okay, we're going for the Chaos Sphere. That can help for this fight. Hey, Mole Knight. You're out of your depth, Spelunker. Are you lost? These ruins belong to the ages, Mole Knight. They're mine now, but more importantly, is that your digging implement? <laughs> I'm astonished you made it ten feet down with that rusty trinket. I will bury you! Alright. Alright, take that, Mole Knight. The real Mole Knight is over here. Uh oh. We can knock the glowing fireballs back at him, but only the glowing fireballs for some reason. Bye-bye! Boo! Get out of here! <laughs> I got a feet! Halfway. <laughs> I love how the little moles are just like, Get him out of here! <laughs> he sucks! <laughs> Shovel Knight's our new leader now. Oh, the campfire makes the dynamo mail reflect weirdly. Uh, winner! Never let the campfire burn too bright. Ooh! Another enemy to face. That means more money. Why are we in Spectre Knight stage when we're not even at that part of the map? So I heard you don't like Spectre Knight's in-the-dark gimmick, Artie. Well, you're gonna play it again. No. Go. Look at all that money! I love it. Wait, why did the... Why did you respawn? That's not logic. 
The mole tried to ambush me again. Excuse me, I made friends with the moles. Uh-oh. This is actually a bit problematic. I'm gonna just avoid you. Salam! Let's go to Knuckler's Quarry now that we have the Dust Knuckles. <sighs> There's no way to punch true! I wish I could just dash through all this dirt! Like this. Hey, DX! Welcome to Shovel Knight! We're just punching our way for some dirt. Just a typical Wednesday night. Uh-oh. Okay, we gotta kill these black magic guys before they destroy the floor. If there's anyone who's gonna be destroying the floor, it's me! Aha! Do 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 do! Booyah! Woo! More money! We could buy so much stuff at the shop with all this. I love this level. This level's a lot of fun. Even though it's short. Money! Ooh. Did we get both of the music sheets on... Mole Knight stage? I actually don't remember. I guess we'll find out once we go back to town. Hello, it is I, the Shovel of Knights. Whoa! <laughs> Wait, that's not the voice I gave you. Whoa, you have seven music sheets! Magnificent! Take 500 gold for each! Wonderful! Let's see here! Oh, you found the Starlit Winds! I'll have you know, I invented a one-of-a-kind instrument that replicates the sound of crickets in a thicket. Now that I have this music sheet, I can perform it for you at any time! Hail, Shovel Knight! Hero of music! What can the humble bard do for you today? Play me a song! What would you like to hear? Okay, we got all this. Spinny bottle, fighting with all my Yep, Starlet wins. Okay, we got that. Yep. Okay, yeah, we did get them. We did get them both. Okay, cool. Ah, <laughs> uh, everybody's playing Pokemon Violet these days. Thanks for buying my meal tickets, but I'm all out. Oh. Does anybody down here still- Oh yeah, that's right, this lady's like, if only someone took care of Specter Knight. You defeated Specter Knight! Now, my behold my greatest treasure, DANCE! And she gives us a music sheet for that. Hey, you! Watch me dance! Do I have to do it again? Can I... Well, at least... At least, <laughs> at least the deposed Cane of Pridemore is enjoying himself. Excuse me, lady. You're not supposed to dance on the bar. Okay. Oh, you're skipping Gen 9? Yeah, I skipped Gens 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. But don't worry, I'll totally play the next one. King Knight reigns no more! Huzzah! Now I can rule Pride more! Hurrah! I can't wait to greet old Plum and Beaky. They probably can't wait to see me. He still looks sad, though. Hello, Fish Fred! All hail the Trample King! Hail! The King of Fruit and Fish! May long may his stem grow! You bought all the relics ahead on hand. Yeah, if you miss a relic, he'll start selling you them in town. Do, 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 do. I could buy a, a magic upgrade, but I don't need any more mana. Boom! Take that.
Take that, kid. Out of the way, it's time for Shovel Knight. Oh yeah, I've heard you can back walk, walk up mountains. But I also heard that that was an intended feature. That's a nice shovel blade! I can improve it! Here, get the drop spark as the last upgrade. Feet accomplished! The Master Shoveler. Now we can shoot sword beam... Uh, shovel, sparks. It's very different. I'm so grumpy, I'm just not in a good mood. I wish someone could cheer me up. Well, okay, I've got it, um... Uh, why don't the snow wolves make any sound? They don't know how! Mm-mm. <laughs> Ugh, I'm not in a good mood, well. Oh, well, why was Treasure Knight talking to a therapist? He had deep sea Ted anchor issues. Come on! That was like a two or three layered pun right there. You know, okay, you know what? Toter. Come on. What do they serve for breakfast on the flying machine? Two eggs? Hover easy. That one works better in text form. So grumpy! Why is Mona like a math book? Because they both have problems! <laughs> he just keeps trying to walk off. He's like, stop toying me bad puns. Why didn't Spectre Knight go to the dance? He didn't have any body to go with! He's like, bro, that guy died a horrible, tragic, fiery death. And you are making mocking him like that? Not cool. I'm so grumpy! Why did Kate Knight go to the dentist? Because he needed a new crown! That was good! Come on! <laughs> These are gonna be the Shovel Knight streams, everybody. We gotta hear every single bad pun. Why don't the rats in the Clockwork Tower make good pets? They are full of ticks! This, okay, this guy's just a lost cause. He, we've made, like, 12 great puns to him, and he isn't laughing. Why is it called the Dark Ages? Because there's no shortage of knights! Come on, that's comedy gold! Okay, okay, we're repeating. We're repeating, alright. Ooh, one thing we can do here. Everyone's soliciting me for money here. Oh, that's my greatest passion, yes. Ow! With my vast riches, I could buy this whole store, but I forgot my wallet! Oh dear! Could you part of a paltry 1,000 gold? Oh, right, fine. Well, thanks! I can't believe that worked! He just scanned me out of a 1,000 gold! Well, surely this guy won't do it. I buy only the best, and for my latest purchase, I'm only a 1,000 gold short. Here, I'll pay for you. Excelsior! Now that I have my purchase, I shall take my leave. If you scam me, no, a charming beret. I just need to buy it. It's only a thousand gold. I'll pay for you. <laughs> I'm a simp now. <laughs> Hooray! This is just what I needed. Thank you, hero. Feet accomplished. Nice hat. Ha! <laughs> My precious hats. That's a lovely hel helmet. So lovely. So lovely. I must inquire, sir, about your curious collection. Travel the land far and wide. I do. Searching, learning, teaching, collecting, all shapes, all sizes, hats! Each one I wear grants me a new power, and your hat looks powerful indeed. Intriguing, but I am rather attached to my helmet. Yes, yes, about that. <laughs> Boss time! <laughs> time to fight Mr. Hat. Oh, he's not giving me any money. And he literally does have different moves depending on what hat he's wearing, which is great. <laughs> Bye, Mr. Hat. <laughs> he might be my favorite character in the game. And he gives us back all the money we paid, and then some. He was another one of the Kickstarter bosses. Enough! I know not what came over me. My hunger for hats to control your beautiful hat. It's a helmet. Righto! <laughs> I knew that. Uh, wear it in good health. For now. 
Right, well, off I go then. I wish he had his own campaign. A guy who goes around and, like, gets different powers depending on the hat he wears. Come on, that's awesome. Oh, bother, you found me. I'm so embarrassed. I promise I'll pester you no longer. Here's some gold for all the trouble. Thanks, Mr. Hat. That was very swell of you. Alright, well, we can now buy some more armor. This be the aerial anvil. Okay, well, I gotta buy the ornate plate, for sure. I love the ornate plate. Uh, I also... The Mail of Momentum. Despite it giving you ice physics, the fact that you don't recoil from damage is actually pretty nice. Yeah, so it's harder to turn and harder to stop. But it doesn't matter, because you can still stop on a dime by doing a jump, so... It's probably the best piece of armor. But I'm gonna go back with the ornate plate, <laughs> because I'm just so fabulous. And it does actually change our jump sometimes. Woo! <laughs> We're so flashy! Alright, let's head off to the Iron Whale. Layer of Treasure Knight. It's shoveling time. This has one of the best songs in the game right here. Yeah, give me all that money. Tre Treasure Knight, with a name like Treasure Knight, I assume you've got a lot of gold. There's also a lot of instant death spikes on this one. No! No! That pink gem fell in the water, in the bottomless abyss. Ooh, let's go fishing in the sunken submarine. Oh, heck yeah. Mega Man 2 is just, like, one of the best soundtracks for the NES, for sure. I knew a couple of the songs here were composed by the Mega one of the Mega Man composers. Gotta hit the shell up there. For some reason, the gray guys, you can't actually attack. Or it's not going to do a whole lot. Whee! This is a pretty great level. Oop! Oh, that's the other song I really like! Flowers of Antimony for Plague Knight. No, oh, no you don't! <laughs> you also gotta be careful pogoing underwater, especially if there's spikes on the ceiling. <gasps> Almost jumped into the spikes there! That would've been bad. This is one level I think I'm not going to be breaking the checkpoints on, because this is actually a pretty tough one. We could phase lock it for this, but... We'll do that. Alright, looks like it's fishing time again. Really? The fish is flying that low down? Thank you, Phase Locket. There's a reason you're my favorite item. Yeah, I ain't pogoing off of that. <laughs> oh, those en this enemy's obnoxious. I was about to make- did that gem seriously fly off of the screen? Bitch. 
Be very, very quiet. <laughs> We're hunting eels. And, uh, tentacles that have eyes on their tip. That's a little strange. Man, where are all the turkeys? Gotta take those platforms on the way down? Yeah. At the at the top, there are those eyes with the sparkles in them. I don't know how it's possible, I'm just telling you what I see. And that's why you go fishing. Correct, it is. Whee! No! I hit phase lock it, but it didn't work in time. Good thing I didn't break that checkpoint. Yeah, we're close by again. Those jumps can be a bit scary. Oh, I see. Okay, alright. You know what? Fine. I'll face lock it to get my money back. I will. Down, down we go. Ouch. I hate the stupid invincible crabs. Why are these crabs invincible? Also, do not destroy that checkpoint if you know it's good for you. Just a little friendly piece of advice. Alright, Chester, what do you got for me this time? Oh, that's not Chester! But dude, considering these are 8-bit graphics, like, dude... The sprite work is phenomenal. Bye. Now it's looking here. There we go. Eels alive! I haven't had a ride like that in ages. I think I'm gonna be sick. Anyway, I'm about to drop another great deal on you. Wanna see? Sure. The throwing anchor, an unstoppable arc of destruction. I would love that. Press up and hold B. It's an arcing weapon. What can we say? Yeah, the ang anglerfish are just generally pretty creepy. Actually, any any creature found in uh, like the depths of the ocean is kind of something out of a nightmare. I wouldn't say sharks are found in, like, the deep sea. I'm talking, like, the really deep parts of the ocean. Actually, I might have just doomed myself. Okay, I fought for sure. Is anything ever gonna bite? 
something's biting! Okay, cool. We still have the tentacle. Dang, this music is good. Break that open, please. Now the missiles are gonna just launch themselves. Well, that was weird. It's like, you can't grab on the ladder. No! There we go. Ouch! Why did they launch much more quickly that time than they did the first time I went on the screen? Oh, the stupid throwing anchor enemies. Take that. Oh, yes, money! Think of all the McDonald's I can eat with this. Oh, the carrot! How lovely. You can also insta-kill these enemies if the anchors drop on them. The anchors can also insta-kill you if they drop on you. I like how they put water on the screen to slow your descent and make it a little easier to get across these. That guy can screw you up if he throws the anchor right at you, but thankfully, did not happen. Ooh, there we go. I was about to be- this better have a lot of money in it, considering the pains I went to to get this. The literal pains. Okay, actually, my health is pretty low. Feed it, <laughs> feed accomplished. Ice cream for Icor. <laughs> I think that's because I've drank every kind of Icor now. Get out of here, bro. Oh boy, more of the snail bowling enemies. Let me eat my turkey dinner. Ah, yes, this room. That's a fun room. Ironically, I haven't gotten a whole lot of treasure on this course. Here we are. My gems, my vessel, my ocean, your very presence tarnishes. You ought to lay claim to the sea itself. Your greed knows no bounds, Treasure Knight. Your hands are no less dirty. Even now others are paying for your avarice. I did just steal a bunch of his treasure, true. Let us duel, winner take all. Okay. He's like, I know you've been obsessed with money. Okay, we gotta watch out for that chest trying to suck us in. Bye! <laughs> Your treasure is mine. 1500 gold is significantly less than it looks like this room contains, but alright. 
Guess we didn't take all. Oof. Oh, man, I just had the weirdest dream the other day. <laughs> it all happened when I was in Zabu Land. <laughs> I was leaping along. Leap, 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 when all of a sudden, Shield Knight started falling. I'll catch you, Shield Knight, as soon as I grab all these gems. Well, that was weird. Ooh, someone left a chest with another meal ticket at the end of it. How wonderful. Let's visit the Gastronomer to get a health upgrade. <sighs> there we go. World free. Oh boy, it's the Black Knight again. Well, I can't turn down a free meal. Whoa! You have free music sheets! Magnificent! <laughs> Wonderful! Let's see here. You found Watch Me Dance! You should write a tarantula. <laughs> you should write a tarantella. Last time I take the advice of a painter. <laughs> now that I have this music sheet, I can perform it. <laughs> Almost said tarantula instead of tarantella. A meal ticket! Hand it to me! I'll get work on my best recipe! You said that last time! I'll dazzle your palate in no time or less! He just keeps learning new recipes. That's why each recipe he has it truly is the best. Because he just didn't know it until now. Ooh, it's another big sandwich. Want some more magic? I'll take some more magic. Please keep giving me these magic upgrades. Oh, I don't have enough! What the? Oh, okay! <laughs> Scholar, hmm, if I adjust the trajectory, I should be able to target the village. I simply adore ballistic physics. Now we can warp, quick warp between the different uh, villages. That's pretty nice. <laughs> Not enough cash, stranger. Well, then I will have enough cash after this. No. Huh. Well, that was lovely. There we go. We got enough cash now, stranger. Oh, no! No! My money! Must. Get. Money. I need it. I want it. I desire it. Yes! Money! <laughs> this game can be bo my Me playing this game can be boiled down to a single quote. I need that money! <laughs> okay, I did want to do a little bit more shopping at the armor outpost. This be the aerial anvil. Okay, bro. Oh, we can buy the last two sets of armor. Look at that. We now have 130 magic, but we also take, like, double damage. Which, so I don't really like that one. The red looks pretty stylish. But I think from this point, I'll go for the male of momentum. I really do like it. It looks super boss. And I enjoy the lack of recoil with this on. Alright, let's go deal with the Black Knight again. Oh, it's the Enchantress herself! With you by our side, Black Knight, total dominion is within our grasp. I beg of you, take my words to heart. Your safety is my only concern. Was not the Enchantress? Tell me what- You! 
Haven't you tired of this charade? Stay out of this! You never were one to blindly follow, Black Knight, but the Order and the Enchantress must be stopped. Fool! You're headed down a ruinous path! The only path I seek leads to the Tower of Fate, and I will reach it. Never steal thy shovel! Oh, you think you try to pogo me? He's putting up a good fight this time, though. With his teleport spam. Bye-bye. Get out. <laughs> exactly. And hey, I'm dressing like you now, Black Knight. What do you think? I think that I'm running away. Alright, folks. We have Clockwork Tower, Layer of Tinker Knight, the Flying Machine, Layer of Propeller Knight, and the Stranded Ship, the Layer of Polar Knight. Which one should I do first? Oh, and we also have the Hall of Champions. Shortcut? Hey, I heard there's a super hidden double secret in the Hall of Champions. Where could it be? Vote for Tinker Knight? Tinker Knight would probably be my first choice as well. Bull. Are you really the Shovel Knight? Nope. You have me mistaken for someone else. Yep, there's a big boy ladder here now. And I think if we take this short, uh, this trebuchet... Nope, they both- oh, come on! So I just- I can't go back to the shortcut itself? Um, Shovel Knight, are you literally just going to be riding these trebuchets all day? Yep. Alright, cool. Then let's head off and complete the Clockwork Tower layer of Tinker Knight. Let's get shoveling! This has one of my favorite songs in the game on it as well. And yes, I did use this song in one of my Lemmings levels. One of my favorite Lemmings levels that I made. No time for Lemmings. Yeah, that was interesting. Because that was, that was a level that I literally just made a clock out of terrain. And I'm like, alright, let's see if I can find an efficient solution. I did it, and I'm just like, okay, this is like a decent difficulty one, but not super hard. And everyone was like, that was one of the hardest levels in the pack. I'm like, really? <laughs> I literally didn't even have to think about the solution. Darn it. Oh, only four checkpoints on this hole? This is a pretty decently length level as well, so... Yeah, you ain't allowed to waste your builders on that level. Okay, we got a fish from the other side, I believe. Give me the money! This level, this whole game kind of has that vibe. Particularly Zelda 2. So 
Something's biting! I'll hail the Trapel King! Oh boy, another Icor of Fortune. That I'll probably never use. Because I'm a hoarder, I never really use the Icors except the Icor of Renewal, because I'm like, oh, I'm about to die! I should probably use this. Whereas the others, it's like, well, I don't know, I can grab all this treasure on my own. Wait! Okay, I couldn't remember if they take me all- <laughs> if they were gonna crush me or not. Never beat Minish Cap. Ah, my turkey dinner. <laughs> I like these giant, like, exterminator guys here. Now, I can't remember which way leads to the optional area. It's this one. Cool. Let's get out that phase locket, boys and girls. Cool, a music sheet. Maybe I should go back and, and finish Minish Cap one of these days. It had some cool ideas, I just felt like... I don't know. A lot of the dungeons weren't that great. I got stuck in the Sky Temple. The, fr the Frost Droplet Temple was also not much fun. Ooh! <laughs> Alright, here we go. Oop, oop, boop, 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 boop. It's like we're back in TikTok Clock and Mario 64 all of a sudden. It's a tricky platforming. Alright, Chester, what you got for me? In the village or out in the field, I got all the deals! We have the mobile gear! Ride over hazards and reach higher places. I, like, never <laughs> use this item, because I'm always afraid it's going to dump me off a cliff. Unless I need that extra one block of platform height. It's like, it'll jump over gaps for you. Maybe. Only if they're the right size, though. Fair enough. Maybe I'll make a return to that in a stream series coming near you. Oh boy, I love the continuously spawning missiles. <laughs> Froggy? Is that you? I caught a fish! Well, no offense, Simpson, but I have a feeling I could literally stream anything and you'd probably watch. Gotta use the mobile gear. I'm like, well, that was weird. You know, the item we literally just grabbed. My money! No! The ceiling was too short, apparently. It's a good thing I didn't destroy this checkpoint like I was planning on. This is one of those reasons I don't like the mobile gear. I should have just face locketed it through the whole thing. Ah, yes. 
The first of the Tinker Machines. It's like tanked up trouble from Donkey Kong Country, which is not a favorable comparison. Actually, I guess it's more like Trick Track Trek. Take that weird creepy bunny rabbit thing. Oh, I don't think so. Take that. Mmm. Ooh, turkey! Oh, the falling gears. Fun. It's just nice to fish on a nice, pleasant day in the clock tower. The best place to catch fish is definitely inside a clock tower. Wow, I am s very shocked I did not take damage there. Wow. Like, I'm genuinely impressed with myself on that one. What? No turkey! Oh, that was screaming that there was something hidden there. Oh, that's right, I hate this part of the level. It's an auto-scroller! But not just any auto-scroller, a vertical auto-scroller, which is even worse because there's less screen that you can see at once. There we go. Give me that, please. That's true. Thank goodness for small favors. Yeah! Did you make all that noise? I can't think straight. I have so much work to do. Just work on letting me pass, little friend. No! Big words, Tin Man. I'll show you a thing or two. Yeah, uh, Tinker Knight, I don't think you're gonna be doing a whole lot. He literally just scrambles around throwing wrenches and tripping as his attack. It's not super impressive. Bye, Tinker Knight! Uh-oh. That's not good. Did you really think that was the entire boss? Hello, Tinker Tank. I can still pogo off him like crazy, though. Really cool boss, though. But, goodbye. I love that boss fight. <laughs> Tinker Tank is... Honestly, Tinker Tank is about as easy as Tinker Knight once you know how to do it. Just pogo his head and avoid the missiles. Ah, oh, K. 
campfire song. I wasn't dreaming of Shield Knight, I was dreaming of money! <laughs> Good job. Ooh! It's the final of the Kickstarter, uh, <laughs> Kickstarter bosses. A beautiful sunny day, but then... Everything changed when the Fire Nation attacked. What magic is this? Power. Honor. The traits of a respectable warrior. Sir, I don't believe we've met. We meet today on the field of battle. We have both defeated many knights and traveled far. Today we fight. Stand aside. You and I have no reason to battle. Conflict is a reason unto itself, brave knight. Today you will be tested. Are you ready? Alright, Phantom Striker. You got some fancy lightning blade work going on. I like this move, <laughs> where he teleports around and makes the lightning balls. But, goodbye. Give me money. 3,000! Mr. Hat gave me 5,000! After I spent 3,000 at his store. Ha! I've been bested. But barely. You still need training to overcome what lies ahead. Farewell, Shovel Knight. Hey, how do you know my name? Depending on how much damage you take during that battle, he'll give you a different amount of money. Because I almost died, he only gave me a tiny amount. Achievement unlocked. Well met. Everyone knows your name, Woody. <laughs> Back to the Trouple Pond. <laughs> Look, Trouple Keen! I'm drinking your I-Cores right in front of you. I would very much like two I-Cores of Renewal. Very well, Shuffle Knight. Alright, Village. Got you those amazing music sheets now. Wonderful! Let's see, you got bucklers and bonnets! My suggestion to incorporate anvils into this composition was tossed aside. Pah! I say, make music, not war! Now that I have this music, oh, wonderful. Yes, that's great. Hey, Magicist, I would like another magic upgrade. Can I buy the last one as well? I can! Cool, our magic is maxed out. Alright, th thanks for setting up the catapults, I appreciate it. Let's head to the Hall of Champions. Hello, lady. Oh, ticketer. What's with that? <laughs> What's with that text sound? She looks like such a grand lady, but then... This is the Hall of Champions, a living monument to the founders of this great land. Admission for one? That'll be 5,000 gold, please. I don't have 5,000 gold! Well, I understand. The arts can't expect real support from peasants. No one calls me a peasant. I didn't. Well, I. You know what? I didn't want to go to your stupid hall, anyways. You know. All right. Do we go to Polar Night or do we go to Propeller Night? Just like the backers, you must get cat. It's true. We gotta vote for Propeller Night. Oh boy. Propeller Knight's definitely the toughest stage. It commits almost every single uh, cardinal sin of platforming, I would say. The only... Co 
Are we seriously only going to get the one vote? Do I have to do Propeller Knight? Don't you want to play co-op? No. Alright, fine. Oh, I hate this level. This level is awful. Thanks. Yeah, this level's really bad. I've always said the only thing I hate more than ice physics are wind physics. Guess what this level has. I'll give you a hint, it's not ice physics. Cardinal Sin number one. We can't see where we're going. Why do, duh. Why is it whenever I have, like, good Truple or Trouple chow I-Cores, it's like, Oh, you doofus, you can't get this part. I'm not sure if this is the... Eh, it's probably the worst level in the whole game, yeah. I would take real-life wind over video game wind. Then again, I also don't have a job working outside, so... These rooms are where the level becomes garbage. Well, not this one, because the wind is at least consistent in this room. Those enemies suck, though. Or I guess I should say those enemies blow. I'm not breaking any checkpoints on this level. Ah, at least there's still money. I also must say, I don't really care for the music on this level. I would say this is the weakest of the main night uh, themes. Have I mentioned that those enemies are absolute hot garbage? With their ability to blow you around in rooms that already have wind physics? I really should preemptively equip the, uh, phase locket. No! Still got it. Hey, I, I know that guy. Hades awaits! Oh yeah, the mini-boss! Thanks for all the jewels! Those are two completely different things. I would love the turkey. Yeah, no checkpoints getting broken on this level. Why can't I go through that window over there? There we go. Trust me, you want to go through here. Well, you want to go through all the secret areas. But this one in particular, we're really going to need it. In the village or in the field, I have all the deals. The propeller dagger soar through the sky, blade first. 
This one's gonna be an important one to know. You can fly, you can fly. Kind of, sort of. Nope! I was trying to use the fishing pole. That's okay. I don't like Propeller Knight. Oh no, I don't. It's like Gyro Man from Mega Man 5, but so much worse. Okay, let's try fishing from up here. Oh, we also can fish for our bags of money. I always forget about that. This part's going to be no Oh, no, you don't! This is why I hate this stage. Those propeller guys can come out of nowhere and just be you're all, you get pushed off a cliff. No ifs, ands, or buts. You can't do anything about it. You can't even phase lock it past it, because you can still get blown around in the wind by the phase lock it. from me. I can confidently say this level is also a lot worse than Gusty Glade from DK Country 2, and that's kind of saying something. Because that level is also hot garbage. That was a little too close for comfort. Not even any treasure for that dirt block, really. So why are there flying jellyfish here? Be in here. Oh, how lovely. I am not. Nope, that's as tempting as it is. I'm not breaking it. Because these stupid fat propeller guys can just ruin your day. Take that. Oh look, and now we're combining wind physics with auto scrollers. They really just tried to make this level the worst level they could, didn't they? At least we're not seeing finny fun here. Ah, good. The auto scroller is done. If you ever see a checkpoint that's offering you a large amount of money if you break it, that's generally a sign that you're about to encounter a very tough part of the level. <laughs> Just 
Just a tip for all of you first-time players. It's not always true, but it oftentimes is. Stupid propeller rats! I thought I left you guys behind in Pride More Keep. This level is also pushing it a little bit when it comes to the instant death spikes. They're fine from time to time, but you can't abuse them. Drop a gem, whatever, whatever. Okay, now we get into the really evil rooms. Where the wind blows you up and down. I still don't understand how the physics of this room behave in exactly. But I can confidently say I hate this room and the next room with a passion. This room is even worse, because now you've got wind blowing you to the right as well. And you've got stupid rats who get in your way and make you pogo into the ceiling. That's fun. Alright, time- and I don't even dare use the propeller dagger in this room. This is one of those levels where it's like, if you like this level, I kind of question your sanity a little bit. Let's see what we catch. Why, how wonderful. Here we go. Ah, oh, my petite blue friend, the sunset. She is beautiful, no? Get down here and face me, you gyroscopic jester. Oh, so rude. My crew, were they not hospitable? My ship, it was not magnificent? I'm not here to be entertained. I must reach the Tower of Fate. Oh, business, no pleasure. Such a shame. Very well, then. On guard! Also, I don't like this boss fight, because it's one of the few boss fights in the game that can insta-kill you. How can he suck all the bombs into himself without taking damage? Take that, Propeller Knight. Yeah, you cry those tears. 3,500 gold! Must be me lucky day! Ah, campfire. Ah, now we sleep and dream of Cheez-Its. Huh? Oh. I wasn't dreaming of Cheez-Its. Alright, now we can head to the Hall of Champions. This is the Hall of Champions admission. Fine, I'll pay you. 
Wonderful. Clearly a discerning patron of the arts. Enjoy your visit. They locked me in here. Ah, this place is haunted! There are ghosts roaming the halls and we're all trapped here! That includes you! <laughs> so, uh, are you gonna do something about it? What a jip! They just stole me money and locked me in a room of ghosts. This is also the Kickstarter level. I think all of these portraits is of a different Kickstarter. <laughs> Spookums, indeed. Did we already get all the ghosts in it? Okay, we did. Woo! Hey, what the heck? How did you not spawn? And he's like, I saw you had the ghost-killing orb. I decided to just not spawn in until the orb was at the opposite end of the room. Yeah, there we go. Once you call the goats, ghosts, the lights come back on. That was weird. Oh, great! You blew my secret hiding spot! Now the ghosts will get us both! And I ate your turkey. But then again, you're a bird. You don't eat turkey, right? That's like saying humans don't eat cows. Well, he'll get over it. And much like in real life, you get $200 for killing ghosts. But only if you use the Moon Pearl from Link to the Past. I knew there would be a ghost up here. Ooh, I got it back on the platform. It's not where I need it to be, but... Oh, you stupid ghost, get out of my way. Or I will kill you. Actually, I was gonna kill you anyway. Really? Yeah, get out of here. I can't believe I saved up all my money for this! Yeah, I can't either. I've learned during my travels that ghosts hate light! Now you know too- Yeah, I kind of had to figure that out on my own. I kind of wish I was playing the PS3 version of this, because there's a really great bonus. If you're playing the PS3 version of this, you get to fight Kratos from God of War as a bonus boss, and he's like one of the best fights. <laughs> if you're playing the 360 version, you get to fight the Battletoads. And if you play the Wii U version, you don't get a burn bonus boss. You play on Wii U, you don't deserve fun. Just seems a wee bit unfair. Wow, now the guy's despawning due to sprite limitations, just like a real NES game. <laughs> a wee bit. Yes, exactly. Secret room. Ha! The ghosts will never reach me in here. Solid walls, my friend. Totally safe. 
ghosts can pass through solid walls. Wait. A curious map! A map of a weird symbol, and there are extra markings here! Wait, do we get to fight Kratos? Because that's normally where you find the thing that makes Kratos appear. Really well hidden. Gotta get all my money back. It's only fair, right? Bye bye. At the four rooms, all the ghosts get their revenge now. Sure was nice of him to create two of these light-giving pearls to kill him. Hey, big boy ghost. One of them is real. Bye bye. No boo hoo. Six thousand dollars, and now daylight returns to the land for some reason. Okay, well at least we have the art museum again. Hero, thank you so much for saving us from the ghost menace. How thoughtless of me not telling you the place was haunted. <laughs> then again, what's the risk you ru that's the risk you run paying for something in advance before you know the details. Please allow me to reward you for your gallant bravery. Fifty bucks? Feat accomplished, hall champion. Oh. Well, this is definitely not Kratos. Mysterious area. This is the Battletoads fight! I've never done this one before! <gasps> I've never done this fight before. This is great. Hey, Pimple! I thought we were going out for a burger and flies! Where'd that crazy space warp take us? Whoa, Rash. Get a load of that shovel, dude. Uh, greetings, amphibians! I'm Shovel Knight on my quest to defeat the Enchantress! Well, that's a neat story! Anyway, we're the Battletoads! Wait a minute, it's... Is this guy talking about the Dark Queen bros? Let me at her! Um, I suppose one might think of her as a Dark Queen of sorts. Well, let me tell you, we know a thing or two about fighting Dark Queens. And no offense, Tadpole, but you look like you could use some help. How about we give you some training, Battle Toad style? Totally! Did you hear that, Toads? He said yes! Righteous! Okay then, let's hop to it! Boom! Okay. <laughs> this is completely different. <laughs> we get to attack them while on this, like, <laughs> propulsion rope. Did he just turn into a boxing glove? Because that's kind of bad. <laughs> I'd expect nothing less from the bad old toads. Dude, this is so cool. I assume that this is, like, an homage to a level in Battletoads. I have not played Battletoads, so I do not know. This is referencing level 2 of Battletoads. This is awesome. You don't dare cut my rope. I am not Om Nom. This is 
so cool, though. I really wish I could show off the Kratos battle. It's, it's like, the coolest one in the game. Also legitimately hard. And has the best music. Dude, look up the uh, God of War theme from Shovel Knight. Like, they actually put a choir in 8-bit music somehow. I don't know how they did it, but it was so good. <laughs> the song is Blades of Chaos. And it's amazing. Oh no, it's the stupid freaking Propeller Bros. I don't like the Propeller Bros. Alright. Yes! My turkey! I will eat two of them. Hey, this is just between me and the Battletoads. I don't want these stupid propeller bros getting in my way. Especially since I can't use any items. Hope you like just getting stunlocked in the corner, because you literally can't move out of the way. So I'm pretty sure this guy has a lot more HP in this than he does in the actual Battletoads. Based on how hard I've heard that game is. Bye-bye! The stupid rats are trying to... No! The rats cut my rope! Oh! Speeder bike? Oh. Oh. I know about this one. I've heard infamous stories about this level of Battletoads. The speeder bike that requires, like, supercomputer reflexes to get through. I think that was a checkpoint. Made the checkpoint noise. Dude, this is insane! I'm taking it this stuff didn't flash in front of you in the original, but you just had to know. Dude, this is crazy. This is freaking amazing. I love this. I love this so much. That's instant death? What? I had full health! <laughs> Splat! Splat! Exactly. Okay, those are coming at me more fast <laughs> as it goes on. Oh my gosh! How long is this fight? I'm only at the halfway point? <laughs> this is amazing. This is amazing. I had seen the intro cutscene for the battle, the Battletoads fight, but I hadn't actually seen any of the Battletoads fight. This is freaking amazing. Why did the Wii U version not get any bosses? Any special bosses? They could have done so many cool things. I'm so glad they added a bonus fight to the Steam version, though. It seems to be the same pattern every time. Dude, we're going so fast now. Well, not anymore. Not anymore! Oh, great, it's the birders. Okay, this is the turbo tunnel I remember. Did you try to jump over the birder? Well, that was stupid of you. 
You should have just known in advance that wouldn't be a good idea. Why was my shovel not hitting any of the birders? Does it only stab directly in front of you? Oh, that's probably it. Why is that one birder way faster than everything else? That seems a little strange. I'm glad they put checkpoints in this fight. If you had to do the whole fight from the beginning every time you died, that would be dumb. I thought I stabbed the birder. The pseudo 3D part of this can be really annoying with the birders. And you can't jump over him either, because if you do, then you just die. Because the wall then spawns in. I literally... I stabbed him! I was right next to him! How did that not kill him? And that, But then I died, like, the same frame. That's very dumb. Alright, new strategy. I'm just gonna avoid the birders. <laughs> hey, Marty, we're just fighting the Battletoads as Shuffle Knight now, for the first time ever. Okay, good. Checkpoint. Can we fight the battle toad again on the speeder bike? Nope. More turbo tunnel. At least we got a checkpoint. Here we go. Oh great, now we have to fight him while avoiding stuff. I hate how everything in this section is instant death. Why do are you giving me a health bar if there's no point in it? It's not saying that the boss is not threatening, it's the common enemies that are. I hate how this music's like, oh, it's a happy song. It's like, excuse me. I'm fighting for my literal life right now. Get off your stupid speeder bike! Off! Alright, here we go. A traditional Shovel Knight fight now. I'm gold coin! I'm rich! <laughs> I love how one of them is literally just a wrecking ball. Bye-bye! That part was by far the easiest part of the whole fight. Wow! You know what's the most exciting thing about winning? It's when you win. I love that feeling! I do too. Wow, Shovel Knight! You got some crazy moves! Uh, I... Thank you, kind sirs. 
Well, at this turbo training, <laughs> was all this turbo training was draining. We ought to bug out and find some grub. Care to join us, shovel guy? Uh, uh, I'll pass, thank you. You lost! Oh, hey, meet us back at camp, though. We want to give you a little token of toad gratitude. How do I get back out? <laughs> Most righteous shovel bro, we hereby name you an honorary toad to aid you in your battle against your own Dark Queen. We bestow upon you this most excellent toad gear. Now you'll have cool moves just like us. Want to equip the toad gear? Uh, I don't know what it does, but sure. Nice, you look stylish. I'm green with envy. Have fun with those smash hits. Toad Gear, Brawl and use Smash Hits. Double tap left on the D-pad or right on the D-pad to run. Oh, that's so cool! <gasps> Baz, what are you doing here? Whoa, these guys are packing maximum attitude! The spikes, the outfits, extreme! Please teach the Baz! <laughs> How about you, Ree... Uh, Rees? I already think you're the greatest, Baz. Will you be my teacher? <laughs> Aw! I'm so glad Rees found, or Baz found someone who appreciates him for who he is. Dude, okay, there's this special battle toad armor? That's awesome. And it's different from the Kratos armor, which I'm actually okay with. The Kratos armor make, made it, like, actually impossible to finish the game if you were wearing it, which is really, really stupid. Alright, well, that stream went on for a bit longer than I anticipated, but I mean, duty calls. It, it was, And it was totally a good time, so... There was a breakable wall above the exit? It didn't look like there was. But maybe there was. Oh, there is. I say this airship rivals the aerial anvil, and so advanced. Who's the proprietor? Greetings, fellow bird nerd. Oh, yes, the vulture is my finest creation. Okay. <laughs> whoa, whoa, hey, we should join these guys, and then we'd call you Battle Toter. <laughs> Toter, come on. Just like... <laughs> you know, it's just like Ronald McDo... Um... I... What? Excuse me. I did not agree to this. I wasn't even trying to talk to you. I literally didn't even try to talk to him, then he's just like, Okay, you're doing this dangerous speeder bike thing. I'm like, what? Can I just exit? Oh, yeah! <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Alright, well, yeah, that's interesting. I did not know the Battletoads were in the Steam version, but I'm so happy that they were. Yeah, oh man, if only there was a way for Kratos to be fought in this version. But I'll, I will absolutely take Battletoads. That was super cool. Really, really well done fight, and I'm so glad that they added it in here. So, that's going to do it for this stream of Shovel Knight. Thanks for watching, everybody. Next time, we're taking on Polar Knight, and we're going to be finishing up uh, Shovel Knight's main campaign for sure. We might even be able to start on the next campaign. Who knows? But regardless, look forward to that either way. Until we meet again, my friends, have a great day, and God bless everybody. Have a great day.